The Camaro should never have worked. Chevrolet was caught off guard when in 1964, Ford introduced the Mustang and Chevy had nothing to compete with this pony car. So, borrowing from the Pontiac's Firebird division, the Camaro was quickly slapped together in an attempt to catch up so they wouldn't be completely shut out of the muscle car race. But it turned out the Camaro was the little engine that could. And after 56 years of ups and downs, it's not only managed to stay in the race, but some say they won it. So how the hell did this happen? Under the guidance of Henry Haga, a visionary leader and Chevrolet's general manager at the time, as well as a team of talented engineers, they began working under the code name Panther, a development process with extensive market research and competitive analysis on what this new car would be. Chevrolet conducted surveys and engaged in direct dialogue with potential customers, asking the question, what's wrong with the Mustang? After two years of closed-door research, and in an attempt to create mystery, on June 21, 1966, Chevrolet sent 200 automotive journalists a cryptic telegram simply stating, Please save noon of June 28 for an important CPAW meeting. Hope you can be on hand to help scratch a cat. It was signed by Chevrolet's public relations head, John Cutter, who claimed to be the secretary of CPAW. But what was CPAW? And what's going on? The following day, the same journalists received another GM telegram stating, The Society for the Eradication of Panthers from the Automotive World, aka CPAW, will hold its first and last meeting on June 28th. It was to be an announcement across the country using a 14-city telephone hookup, a first time ever with this technology, and it was coming from Chevrolet's general manager, Pete Estes, who was broadcasting from a live press conference in Detroit's Statler Hilton Hotel. On the big day, Estes announced a new car line, XP836, with a name that Chevrolet chose in keeping with other car names beginning with the letter C, such as the Corvair, Chevelle, and Corvette, the car name Camaro was finally unveiled. The journalists were silent. The first one to speak simply said, what's a Camaro? And they were told that it was a small, vicious animal that eats Mustangs. And with that, Camaro was born. In reality, the name Camaro was invented by Chevrolet merchandising manager Bob Lund and General Motors Vice President Ed Rowlett while they were reading a French-English dictionary. The word Camaro was slang, meaning a friend, pal, or comrade. The Camaro officially went on sale in dealerships on September 29, 1966 for the 1967 model year. The first generation Camaro, spanning from 1967 to 1969, was built on the acclaimed F-body platform, which it shared with the Pontiac Firebird. It was available as a sporty coupe or convertible. While the base model featured a respectable 3.8 liter inline six engine, it was the range of available V8 options that truly set hearts racing. People could opt for engines like the 5.7 liter V8 or the 6.5 liter V8. These powerful engines catapulted the Camaro from zero to 60 miles an hour in as little as 5.3 seconds. The 1969 Camaro Z28, designed specifically for the Trans Am Racing Series, displayed an exceptional level of performance. Its high revving 302 cubic inch V8 engine generated an impressive 290 horsepower, complemented by a heavy duty suspension, upgraded brakes, and distinctive racing stripes. The Z28 established itself as a dominant force both both on and off the track. Chevrolet further expanded the Camaro's appeal with the introduction of the Super Sport package. This included a more potent engine, an upgraded suspension, and unique exterior trim. In addition to the SS package, Chevrolet introduced the RS, or Rally Sport package. The RS package featured hidden headlights, revised taillights, and special exterior trim. But the car wasn't perfect. First generation Camaros were prone to rust and corrosion, particularly in the body panels, floor pans, and trunk areas. Some owners also reported problems with the electrical system and faulty wiring, and ball joints in the suspension were known to wear out prematurely. Still, by the end of its production run in 1969, the first-generation Camaro had firmly established itself as a legend in the history of American muscle cars. The second-generation Camaro, introduced in 1970, represented a significant evolution. 
Exterior-wise, the second-gen Camaro highlighted a more elongated and aerodynamic profile compared to its predecessors. The base model featured a 4.1-liter inline-six engine. However, it was the range of available V8 engines that truly defined the performance capabilities. From the 350 cubic inch V8 to the 6.6 liter big block V8, these engines delivered impressive horsepower and torque, propelling the Camaro from 0 to 60 in as little as 6 seconds. But during this era, consumer demands shifted due to the oil crisis, necessitating a focus on fuel efficiency. In response, Chevrolet introduced smaller, more fuel efficient engines. Among the standout models of the second generation Camaro was the Z28, and the limited edition Yenko Camaro. The Z28, reintroduced in 1977 as a standalone model, featured a 350 cubic inch V8 engine and a four-speed manual transmission. Chevrolet also expanded the Camaro lineup during this generation by introducing the Type LT model, which stood for Luxury Touring. Aimed at buyers seeking a touch of luxury alongside sportiness, the Type LT offered an upscale interior and a more sophisticated aesthetic. But issues with rust and corrosion were still a problem in the second generation, and some people complained that the quality of the interior materials were not as solid, with issues like cracked dashboards and door panels. But by the end of its production run in 1981, the second generation Camaro had evolved significantly, and it was about to get even more exciting. The third generation Camaro boasted a complete redesign that prioritized aerodynamics, fuel efficiency, and modern aesthetics. The front end of the third gen Camaro featured an integrated fascia, where the bumper, grille, and headlights seamlessly blended together. Another notable change was the introduction of flush mounted headlights. In contrast to the exposed and recessed headlights of the second gen Camaro, the third gen model incorporated headlights that were smoothly integrated into the front fascia. Powertrain options in the third generation Camaro catered to a range of driving preferences. The base model was equipped with a 2.5 liter inline four engine. However, for those seeking more power, V6 and V8 engine options were available. These engines, combined with the lighter weight of the third-gen Camaro, enabled quick acceleration times and agile handling. A standout model of this generation was the legendary IROC Z, an acronym for International Race of Champions. The IROC Z package transformed the Camaro into a high-performance machine, featuring a tuned suspension, upgraded brakes, and a distinct body kit. In 1985, Chevrolet introduced the Camaro IROC Z convertible, marking the return of a drop-top Camaro after a 16-year hiatus. This limited production model celebrated Camaro's selection as the official pace car for the Indy 500. Some people complained of T-top leaks due to its removable roof panels due to poor seals and aging weather stripping, and some owners reported transmission and clutch problems, sometimes difficult to engage gears, but Chevrolet consistently updated and find the Camaro throughout the third generation, ensuring that the Camaro maintained its competitive edge and continued its appeal into the fourth generation. The fourth generation Camaro, unveiled in 1993, heralded a new era with its distinctively rounded and aerodynamic design. Built on an updated F-body platform, the fourth generation Camaro offered a diverse range of engines to cater to various performance preferences, notably the LT1 V8 engine, borrowed from the iconic Corvette. During this generation, Chevrolet partnered with SLP Engineering to develop Camaro SS, the Supersport model. The Camaro SS received a host of enhancements, including a performance-tuned suspension, upgraded brakes, and distinctive exterior styling cues such as a functional hood scoop. Continuing to refine the Camaro, Chevrolet introduced the LS1 V8 engine in 1998. In 1999, the Camaro received a refreshed exterior design, featuring a more aggressive front grille, updated headlights with integrated fog lamps, and revised taillights and Chevrolet introduced the Camaro's 30th anniversary edition. This limited production model featured a distinct white and orange paint scheme, accentuated by special decals and commemorative badge. Available in both coupe and convertible body styles, the 30th anniversary edition embodied the spirit of the Camaro and became a cherished collector's item. But towards the end of the run, sales started to slow, 
Competition was increasing and it was becoming difficult to meet evolving market demands and regulatory requirements. So Chevy had to make a hard decision, whether to move forward with a new generation or just discontinue production of the car altogether. They decided to do neither. Instead of discontinuing, Chevy halted the production. During this hiatus, Chevy went back to what they did when the Camaro was initially released in 1967. They conducted market research and analyzed consumer preferences. They also took into consideration the success of their competitors, particularly the Ford Mustang, which had a consistent presence in the muscle car segment. Ultimately, the demand for retro-styled muscle cars, coupled with a positive response to concept vehicles, prompted General Motors, Chevy's parent company, to revive the Camaro, and in 2010, Eight years after the halt, Camaro was back with the fifth generation. After the eight-year halt, the fifth-generation Camaro featured a modern interpretation of the classic Camaro design. Combined with updated performance and technology, the unmistakable front grille, flanked by menacingly styled headlights, conveyed a sense of aggression that hinted at the beast lurking under the hood. The available RS Sport package took the exterior design to new heights, boasting distinctive HID headlights, LED taillights, and an aerodynamically optimized grille. Stepping inside the fifth-generation Camaro was like entering a cockpit. Retro-inspired touches paid homage to the Camaro's heritage, while advanced technology, such as the available touchscreen infotainment system and heads-up display, seamlessly integrated with the driving experience. When it came to performance, the fifth-generation Camaro left no room for compromise. At the heart of the lineup was the formidable 6.2-liter LS3 V8 engine. And among the shining stars of the fifth-generation Camaro lineup was the mighty ZL1. Introduced in 2012, the ZL1 boasted a supercharged 6.2-liter LSA V8 engine, harnessing an astonishing 580 horsepower and 556 pounds of torque. For those seeking the purest expression of track performance, the Camaro Z28 emerged as an unrivaled masterpiece. Under its sculpted hood resided a naturally aspirated 7.0-liter LS7 V8 engine, unchaining 505 horsepower and 481 pounds of torque. Lightweight materials, carbon ceramic brakes, and an aggressive aerodynamic package made the Z28 a relentless adversary on the track, breaking lap records and setting new standards for track-focused performance. The highly anticipated sixth-generation Camaro made its debut in 2016, ushering in a new era of performance, innovation, and refined design. Built on the lightweight and agile Alpha platform, the muscular fenders added a sense of power and athleticism, while the lower stance gave the car a more aggressive and poised appearance. The rear spoiler not only added to the car's sporty and aggressive look, but also helped to reduce lift and enhance stability at higher speeds. The base model featured the turbocharged 2.0-liter inline four engine, but stepping up, the Camaro offered the iconic 6.2-liter LT1 V8 engine. In 2018, Chevrolet introduced the Camaro Turbo 1 LE, an enticing combination of the lightweight turbocharged four-cylinder engine and the track-focused 1 LE performance package. This model offered nimble handling, precise steering, and enhanced performance on the track. And after dominating the roads for an incredible nine model years and captivating the hearts of countless enthusiasts, the sixth generation Chevy Camaro is preparing to take its final bow. As the curtains close on the model year 2024, this legendary Camaro will bid adieu. The final sixth generation Camaro will come off the assembly line at the Lansing Grand River Assembly Plant in Michigan in January 2024. While there won't be an immediate replacement, General Motors has hinted at the eventual return of the beloved Camaro. Stay tuned for what the future holds for this iconic muscle car. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you'll be alerted of all future videos. And if you can't wait for another video, check out these two right here on the evolution of the Mustang and the Corvette that you can watch right now. I'll see you in the next one.